Hey Sagittarius, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of February 19th through the 25th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the chariot at the bottom of the deck. You could be connecting to a cancer. Uh, we also have the ten of wands, three of swords, hierophant, and justice. So we have Libra, Taurus, um, ten of wands, three of swords. I feel like this is a third party situation, but it doesn't have to be. It's just when I see three very prominent figures here, it's kind of like there's something happening between multiple people, or um, there could be a situation that is maybe causing a bit of stress and is, is affecting you in multiple areas of your life. Um, I feel though that the Three of Swords with the Ten of Wands could be that right now there's something that you didn't expect to happen and I feel like it could be uh, maybe affecting your vision for something that you're investing in, um, whether it is a relationship, maybe it's a career. I feel like there's something that has happened recently that has taken you um, out of your comfort zone or maybe there's something that you didn't um, expect would happen that did happen and now you may be questioning whether or not something is worth continuing and so you are validating whether this is you know your um whether this is justice but i feel like at the same time um justice doesn't really come through as the typical justice card i feel like this is more about you determining if this is something that you feel um, you want to keep doing or if this is something you think is worth doing so um, let's just go ahead and clarify the three of swords all right so we have the star at the bottom of the deck which is aquarius um, so maybe there is a situation here that you could be dealing with an air sign definitely um, a lot of air coming through because we have the ace of swords four of swords nine of swords there's a lot of swords um, so to further clarify that three of swords, to see more of them, I do feel that there could be something unexpected happening, Sagittarius, um, that again, it feels like there is some sort of stress here. But what's interesting is that even though these cards are coming through, we do have the ace of swords, which is about getting clarity, um, something becoming absolutely clear. Four of swords, which is the energy of, you know, kind of like relaxing, taking a break, meditating, um, giving yourself the the time to really listen to what you're higher self is trying to communicate with you and then the star card um you know that is all about hope rejuvenation so you don't see maybe how something is changing for the better right there could be um something going on right now where like the stress of it all could be blinding you to the fact that things are changing and they're they are getting really good for you um and the two of wands right behind that star card says that your future is bright but i definitely feel like right now you could be blinded by the circumstances or it's like whatever is happening that's right in front of you you're you're kind of putting all of your attention to that and so you're not seeing um where you know other things are happening here so um let's go ahead and clarify the hierophant also i just got a message that it's kind of like you believe something is worse than it really is um and it could be maybe a fear it could be a, re a projection of sorts but let's see let's clarify the hierophant two of swords yeah there's something about you feeling indecisive or feeling um like there's a decision that you need to make that is particularly difficult uh, but again, it's interesting because I feel like things are moving in a really good direction for you, Sagittarius, but you are having a really hard time seeing how. Um, and I feel like it could be due to another person um, or maybe some sort of negative energy surrounding you that is not really allowing you to see something from your own perspective. Because I feel like you are naturally um, a very optimistic person you know i feel like your your energy is coming through as like very strong very clear uh but then everything that's surrounding you seems to kind of fog up your your you know um your perspective so i feel like that two of swords is like this indecision isn't coming from you it's around you all right um so we have the page of swords king of cups and the seven of swords again the seven of swords really says a lot because again there's something that is deceiving you um, into having a different perspective than what you normally would have. The, the Page of Swords and the King of Cups, I feel like this is the universe inviting you to really look within, kind of like tap into those um, emotions because what you thought you lost is still there. 
And I think that that's what this whole thing is about. There's something here that you thought you had lost, either lost control of, lost focus of, lost in general, right? And I feel like the King of Cups is saying, look within because you're going to find it because it's still there. It never left you. Um, so the Page of Swords is kind of like going through that journey of finding this thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. It's kind of hard to put into words. The energy itself is complex, but then I feel like the message is pretty simple. Um, there's something that you don't see because of something um, that is, you know, affecting you. And then things are getting better than how you, than, you know, what you think. But then also it feels like you thought you lost something, but it's still there. I, I have no idea how to, um, what to make of this. So let's go ahead and clarify the nine of swords. Two of Swords, again, at the bottom of the deck. All right, so there's an indecisive energy here, or there is a feeling of, I think I know what I want, but I'm not confident in that decision. So it seems like you have made up your mind. You have um, kind of thought through this, but you're not feeling confident in this decision or in this process for some reason. And I feel like that's what that Nine of Swords is trying to say. Um, something could be getting in the way of you and your manifestations. We have Four of Pentacles, the World, and the Seven of Pentacles. So again, Sagittarius, things are looking so good for you. That World card is clarifying a lot. It's confirming a lot, I should say, right? It's kind of saying this is a new chapter for you. Things are going to get better. Four of Pentacles, you've prepared yourself. You've saved up for this situation, for this journey, right? I feel like this is you collecting your resources and keeping yourself prepared for what's next. But then the Seven of Pentacles is saying you know, you're kind of like ready to get on the plane or you're ready to book the flight, but then you're also thinking, you know, you, it's kind of like, and this is probably not a really good example, but just to put it into some sort of vision here, um, it's kind of like you're saying, I'm going to get on the flight, right? I'm going to get on the plane. I'm going to, you know, explore this. I'm going to start this new journey. But then you're also thinking, uh, but what if it crashes, right? So it's kind of like you're putting, um, you know, a wedge in between you and your next step for some reason. And I feel like the universe wants to bring this to your attention because it feels like this week you're breaking free from that. But this is kind of like the first step here is to acknowledge, right, that there's something going on that is making you feel this way. Um, I, I kind of feel like I have to keep digging though. So let's clarify that 10 of wands. Knight of Pentacles. All right, so we have the Six of Wands, Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo Energy, and the Tower. So you are definitely manifesting something, something that could be very life-changing. And I feel like the Six of Wands is the universe confirming it's going to be a success. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like, could be that you are um, kind of like treading the waters carefully. Um, you're being very slow and steady with things. Um, right behind the Knight of Pentacles, though, is the Devil card. So I feel like there's, again, this um, kind of theme here of things are going good, but then there's something kind of negative to show up for it, right? So it feels like there's a fear, there's a worry, there's a um, something that is happening maybe within or in your environment that is stopping you from believing that this manifestation is possible. But again, the universe is wanting to confirm and reassure you, Sagittarius, that this is in fact going to work and it is going to be a success and you will uh, be taking, you know, part in a very beautiful journey here. So really love this for you. If you want to share um, some details about what this might be, you can. If not, that's totally fine. But if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one.